Hi, I'd like to talk to you about NetSport DNA, our IT asset management suite, designed to deliver a range of tools for the network manager to discover, manage and control all of the school's IT estate. So at the heart of any good network IT management solution, and in particular NetSport DNA for schools, is the ability to identify and discover all of the IT assets across a school or MAT estate. NetSupport DNA identifies and discovers all of the hardware assets from PCs and servers to tablets as well as network devices like switches and printers and pull those all together into a centralised hardware inventory. As you'd expect, NetSupport DNA provides lots of details about each and every device, allowing you to identify devices that are need upgrading or refreshing in the future and built into your broader strategic plan. Just in case you have new devices arriving at different times, it also has an auto discovery feature, so it will alert the network manager when new devices have been identified. Once you've got that vision of all of your kit within the network, the next layer is that second big cost for a school, which is the software you use on those devices. NetSport DNA does a software inventory at a number of levels. It identifies all the programs that are installed, within those programs all of the applications, it lists all the hotfixes that have been applied to devices, and then with a nod to GDPR it looks even further and can identify files of a particular type. A great way of identifying documents that might contain student data that shouldn't be on local machines and back on the secure network storage. Alongside software inventory, of course, is the ability to manage your licensing, both to make sure that schools don't exceed the legal limit of the licenses they own, but also to make sure the licenses they've got have actually been deployed and effectively used. Now, software licensing really comes in two parts when we start thinking about saving money for schools. So one is what's installed, but the second part is who's actually using it. So the application metering component within NetSport DNA allows schools to get a full picture of which software is being used on which devices throughout the day. It's a fantastic way of recognising when renewals come in about which software perhaps doesn't need to be renewed or where additional licences need to be purchased. Now alongside application metering is the ability to control, set limits to where applications are used, either by devices or perhaps more practically by time of day. So now we can make sure that applications like Minecraft aren't used during lessons, but are available when it comes to after school clubs where it might be more appropriate. Once we've got our software and we know how it's being used, the final piece of the jigsaw puzzle is software distribution. The ability to take new packages that the school needs or updates and push those out automatically onto devices across the network. And again, NetSport DNA provides the flexibility to either push when the network manager wants to schedule those updates or publish those for pull when staff within the school or trust can pull down applications that have been published as available for them within their particular department. That gives us our full ecosystem of software management. Now NetSupport also tries to make sure that our products are as accessible and usable as possible. And with that in mind, the same way we meter and control applications is reflected for the internet. Again, within NetSupport DNA, we can identify and monitor all online web activity by staff, and students and within that we can provide whitelists and blacklists and control access to certain websites again by time of day. A great example perhaps is controlling when social media is or isn't accessible to users. Now as well as that metering NetSport extends further and says well what about print usage? So typical usage, print jobs, average number of pages printed, costs are all captured within NetSport DNA and following that monitoring of print usage it also monitors energy usage. Clearly that's an area where schools can make savings, particularly with desktops that are left on overnight or over the weekend. And inbuilt to that energy and power management is the ability for us to create policies to make sure machines are automatically started up at the beginning of the day, or just as important, powered down at the end of the day. The policies give us extra flexibility to ensure that if a machine's logged in, then the behavior we apply might be different to one that's left logged out. Equally, it's about those granular details, like making sure that school holidays and public holidays are missed and skipped from the auto startup routines. Alongside those, NetSupport is also focused about the practicalities of being proactive, so an alerting component is provided to make sure the network manager can be prompted in advance when conditions meet that might need their attention. Disk space is running low antivirus software has been stopped or upgraded, or other events that might draw their attention in advance of it being disruptive to staff working. Now if we think about the bigger picture of being able to identify our kit, 
our software, who's using it, where they're going, and what time of day they're on the devices, we can aggregate all that information back to a central view, which is our activity monitoring, allowing us either to pick an individual student or a device and see a history for a dedicated period of time. Now all of this is wrapped around with the idea that we need to bring these tools together to empower a network manager to make sure all of this valuable kit is operational 24-7. And with that in mind, there is a range of tools specific for the network manager to use on an immediacy basis. It starts with a full view of all the active online devices, whether that be in a visual sense to see things like who's logged in, how much CPU is being utilised, network activity, to flipping that view to interactive thumbnails where they can see at a glance who's active, who's online, what's going on with those machines. Where they see an issue they need to preempt, they can simply right click and jump onto a machine with one to one remote control. Or against a group of machines, they can apply things like PowerShell scripts, remote command prompts, and more. In our new Spotlight feature, they can select a particular PC, pop open a window, and instantly see everything from processes and services and applications running. And more importantly, they can control, stop and start those things to affect any conditions that they might need. To further enhance the security within NetSupport DNA, we have a fantastic endpoint security module, allowing schools to either prevent the use of USB devices, such as memory sticks on school computers, fantastic for exam season, or to limit the use, perhaps restricting a USB to only be used by when a particular user is logged in. Another useful way of making sure that only staff can access memory sticks on computers, we can also do things like ensuring that only encrypted memory sticks are used within the school. Again, linking back to our GDPR policy. Fundamentally, NetSupport DNA is about being able to identify and manage all different platforms within a school environment. It has its flexibility to be scalable, including inbuilt gateway components for joining schools across a mat or district back to a central point. It has the flexibility of remote control across local and remote sites, again, without the requirement of any third-party services. It's simple to implement, it's simple to use, and most importantly of all, it's low cost, and the functionality of the product is designed to help save money delivering a really quick return on your investment.